Y'all in my house, we don't like to throw away perfectly good food. So we put the leftovers in the Tupperware, put the Tupperware in the fridge, let it go bad. Then we throw it out. Make it make sense. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, dokey, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Oh, a happy Father's Day. Yeah. And if you're a black American, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I tried doing a Google search about black Father's Day means, and this is all I could come up with. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> well, guys, it is summertime, and just like all holidays, there's always a politician trying to pose a picture about them trying to be human, you know? And the latest knucklehead, the latest dumbass, I mean, Democrat, is Chucky Schumer. Chucky Schumer was here on a grill with Hamburger meat on the grill. No. He has raw meat and cheese on the grill. Yep. Typical Democrat. They will fuck up anything. Jesus Christ. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. All right. Chucky. Chucky Schumer. Aren't you a, uh, uh Kanye, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. Yes, yes. Aren't you a part of the community that wears small hats? What in the hell are you doing with meat and cheese on a grill? What is this? What kind of, uh, what kind of person are you? <laughs> what is this? You people not supposed to do that. But hey, you know what? You are a dumbass. I mean, uh, a Democrat. You do what you want to do, right? Damn a religion. Oh my God. This is your Senate majority leader, guys. This is your prime example here. I come to the floor this morning sick to my stomach. You had to take the post down because that's an embarrassment. And so, guys, if he ever invites you to a barbecue, please remember this. No. This guy here. <laughs> anyway, what else we got going on? <clears throat> Oh, we have, we have Cory Bush. Cory Bush is a representative from Misery, St. Louis. And not only that she's a, a representative, she's a pastor, she's a nurse, and she's also a Black Lives Matter activist. On top of all that, she has a superpower. You're a pastor. Yes. You write about healing through faith. At one point, you came across a woman with, quote, several visible tumors on her torso. Tell me what happened. Um, so at that time, I, along with um, a group of friends, we would go out on the street and just meet with people and pray with people and offer them food. And this lady came to us and she had these tumors. I mean, she wanted us to like feel them. And um, I just remember I put my hand on her um, and my hand just began to move. And uh, the lumps that were there were no longer there. And she was so happy and she like went on about her day. And I never saw her again. So you think the tumors disappeared? I do. I do. And this woman was unhoused. She's someone who, you know, had been sleeping in the shelters and sleeping on the street. If if I can speak a prayer mm -hmm. and I can believe what what I believe and you believe that this will help you, then why not offer that to people? 
because I know prayer has helped me. Yeah, yeah. Miss Cori Bush walked up to a homeless stranger, laid hands on the stranger, and miraculously cured the stranger from tumors, lesions, warts, the common cold, and all. Mm-hmm. And the lady just walked off, never to be seen again. As a trained nurse, you're a member of the medical community. How how do you think about those spiritual healings versus medical healings? Yeah, spiritual healing um, is it's a part of what you believe, you know. And uh, the the medical healing is it's it's a similar thing because I still. I'm going to believe that this treatment that this doctor is giving me is going to help me in my situation. And so as the nurse, I am following the doctor's instructions and giving them whatever the doctor says that they should have. And also for those patients that would say, would you also pray with me? You know, I would pray with them. Um, And so it's the same thing that I would do on the street. Unbelievable. What a miracle. Yes, Corey Bush. And the reporter here is asking follow-up questions about it, right? What do you say to people who are likely to disbelieve that story? You know, they're not the woman that had the tumors. (laughs) Now, imagine if it was somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Shout out to Professor Nez. Imagine if Marjorie Taylor Greene had went on Fox News and said, yep, I sure did. I laid hands on him and I cured him from the cancer. Mm-hmm. Now, what would happen if Marjorie Taylor Greene had said that on Fox News? The next day, they'd be calling for a head. The next day, uh, SNL would be having skits for days about that. They'd be roasting her. They'd be trying to tie her up with Donald Trump. What? But we let Cori Bush Say this, and nobody challenges it. Nobody says nothing. Oh, really? You're better than you're better than T.D. Jakes. You're better than Creflo Dollar. Shit, you're even better than Tyler Perry. Continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessings. Man, oh man, she is, she got that superpower. Yes, she got, she's dripping the blood of the lamb. Mm-hmm. Yes. Unbelievable. But this one, Cori Bush, no, nobody gonna say nothing. Nobody gonna say nothing to the strong black woman. Uh-huh. This one here. Wow. She's more powerful than Jesus. I thought only Jesus can heal. This one here is laying hands on people and removing warts, removing tumors. Removing cancer over prayer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you question her, you don't believe. No. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's just another Democrat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Please, Lord, protect me from your followers. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. (laughs) All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you pastors, get your ass off my lawn.